Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy V here back on the Madden 16. Today I'm bringing you guys a lineup update and some gameplay after it. So real fast, we got Johnny Manziel as our quarterback. You guys have seen him. He started his debut yesterday. I didn't really make a big deal about it, but I promise you he's a beast. We got Julio Jones who's going to be making his debut this game as well. J-Mac and Evans are other receivers. We got Russell Ukung, however you say his name, Evan Mathis, Jason Kelsey, Marshall Yonda, Lane Johnson, and Vernon Davis with that Gronk from the solo challenge. Backing him up, we just picked up some linemen to get the long pass and a speed run style boosts. Over on the defense, I don't think we've made any adjustments here. Everything is still the same on this side and the same special teams for like ever. So let's go ahead and jump into this game. All right, guys, so here we are starting off in the post column. We got a game against the guy rocking out the Giants jerseys, which is a rivalry for the Eagles, if you're not aware. So I'm thinking, let's go out here and beat the crap out of this guy. This guy's got a pretty good team. Uh, just, to, just to let you guys know, he's starting off with the pounding the ball with Jamal Charles twice. We're going to bring him down uh, two carries for only a yard, 39. He's dropping back, and Jamal Charles is going to get it back by Deion Buchanan. And that's going to bring up fourth and three. He's going for it. And dang you, gum again. Our blitz is going to come screaming through. He's going to get the ball off, uh, tough to get the ball off quickly, and I'm going to end up intercepting it, and that's going to be a dick pick for me. That's one on the day, and we're going to start off by giving the ball to Emmett Smith, and we're going to get brought down after a gain of only four. Here with Johnny Manziel, we're tossing it up to Julio Jones. going to go up there and grab it one-handed, but he's not going to be able to bring it in, uh, and we're going to call Johnny Manziel's number, and Johnny Manziel is going to end up getting taken down before he can be go first down. Fourth and four, dropping back. My A receiver's open. I didn't see him in time, and I'm going to end up tossing it across the middle, and my man J-Mac is not going to be able to rack it for a first down, so he's going to get the ball right back here. Starting off losing three yards by pitching to Jamal Charles. He's tossing it up. And he's going to split the cover two in half. Rod Woodson and Daryl Revis both not being able to play the zones because he came out of that little. And that cover two beating play. And Torrey Hill's going to be streaking straight down in the middle of the field. And he's going to get a one play touchdown. And, you know, it couldn't have came at a better time to be completely honest. It's just like he scored on his first possession, and now it's my turn to score right back. So here we are with our first possession wink, and we're going to be able to dot him up to the sidelines with Jeremy Macklin. And we're rolling out here with Johnny Manziel. We got Mike Evans open on the sidelines. We're going to scroll. We're going to scramble out, juke to the right, and we're still going to get hit, even though I'm trying to avoid that hit. And, man, where's my 15 yards? And here we are. We're, we're dropping back with Johnny Manziel, we're going to bomb him down. Deep, and my boy Manziel's going to have a horrible throw. I pull on the side and say, Manziel, what happened? You know what he says to me? He has the audacity to say. I can't hear you. can't hear you. There's too much money in my fucking head. I said, how you disrespect me, young man? I am your coach. You better put some respect on my name. And he, and he doesn't care. So I said, we're going to have to renegotiate your contract. Here on second 11, he's playing for the other team now because he didn't like what I had to say to him. And he's going to toss it up. And thankfully... For him, at least, we're not going to get the interception, bringing up third and 11. He's tossing into triple coverage again. He's not going to be able to come down with the catcher. He's punting it to the speedy catcher. We're juking to the right, and we're going to end up getting tackled right as soon as we get to the 23-yard line. And we got the ball back with another chance to drive. We're going to try and feed uh, Emmett Smith, and we're going to get uh, tackled before we can even get to the line of scrimmage. And here we're going to give Johnny Manziel another go at the deep ball. Julio Jones is wide open, beating the cover four. And we're going to be able to connect and to all the Johnny Manziel haters out here who think he can't be back in the NFL. We only got one thing to say to you. We can't hear you. There's too much money in my fucking hand. <laughs> That's right, so my boy Johnny Manziel is back on the team, and he's looking bigger and better than ever. He's got a nice new contract, and he's probably going to do the same thing again. He's here on second and third. He's going to try and hand it off to Jamal Charles again, who's going nowhere today, and it's third and four. And thank you, come again and again. That's my boy, Night Train Lane, with this second dick pick of the game, and it's looking good for us. We're dropping back, and VD's going to get back and hopped, and he's going to put the ball on the ground, and Julio Jones is going to have the awareness to run over there and pick it up. And it's going to be a second and eight. We're rolling out with Johnny Manziel. Rerouting venereal disease VD. And we're going to hit him again after he just died. And we're going to juke to the inside. Ill-advised. And we're going to end up getting wrapped down. So we are handing off to Emmett Smith. And we are down to the nine-yard line. Dropping back. Not dropping back. Handing off to Emmett Smith again. Getting close. And we're going to go ahead and call Johnny Manziel's number. Take 
and my man Johnny Manziel is going to be unable to pound it in there for a touchdown. So we're going to give it to Emmett Smith again out of the backfield, and he's going to get brought down for a loss of four. Third and goal, I'm just chewing off the clock, and I say, that's all right. I'll just kick my field goal, go into half with a three-point lead, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. He's only got 10 seconds left. He's got one timeout, but he doesn't really have time for anything. He's dropping back out all day in the pocket, launching a deep one-on-two. I get no animation. Uh, Ramsey doesn't jump, and it, just like that, he's going into the half with a four-point lead. I'm going to go, oh, shit. That's a bunch of shit. So right there, I'm trying to hit Mike Evans across the middle of the field. I wait a little bit too long, and his defender's going to be able to swat that down nicely. And we're going to hit VD on the on the breaking route towards the sidelines. Third and four, giving it to Johnny Manziel. Rolling out. X gets bumped, unfortunately, and that was our read on the play. So no one else was open. Bring up a fourth and eight. Dropping back. We got Jeremy Macklin open on the sidelines. And Jeremy Macklin, unfortunately, cannot get the feet inbounds. And we are turning the ball over to him. And he's going to go ahead and lob it up. And my boy Buchanan is going to sniff, be all over it. And Charles is not going to get a gain of anything. Reception, and he's going down. He's tossing it to his tight end. Across the middle of the field, he's going to have horrible stick skills, and that's going to bring up third and one. And I'm going to turbo blitz the living crap out of him, and it's going to be fourth and four. And he's going to take his field goal and go up by a full possession, a full seven points. So now I need a touchdown to tie up the game, or we're going to start off by tossing it to Smith, run around his user, but we're going to be able to hold on to the ball, and we're down to the 31-yard line. Second and three, we're going to give it to Emmett Smith again, and he's fighting forward, and we're going to be able to pick up the first down. And we're then we're going to go ahead and look to the other side of the field at Emmett Smith again, pick up another first down, and we're about to cross midfield, so we're going to give it to Emmett Smith for the fourth time in a row, and we're crossing midfield, and that's going to bring up second and one. We're going to substitute Andre Archer. Andre Archer is going to be able to burn his man with that 99 speed and 99 excel. Bring up another first down. We're going to hit Jeremy Macklin in the slant over the middle and get down to the 17-yard line. And we're steady driving our way down the field. Play after play, we're going to hit Smith over the middle of the field. I'm calling Johnny Manziel's number, baby. And Manziel's going to further prove that he belongs on this team and in this league. And he's going to end up scoring his first rushing touchdown on the team. And that is very good in my eyes. That's just what I needed. This game is now tied 17-17. to Three minutes and 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he's going to find an open man there. Anthony Barr is going to leave his tight end open for some reason. Third and four. We're screaming he's going to get the ball up in time. But he's only going to get a gain of two or one, making it a third or fourth and three. And we're going to sack him with Anthony Barr. And it's looking good for us. All we got to do now is chew the clock. Pick up this first down kicker game winning field goal. That's just what we're going to try and do. We're going to run the ball again with Emmett Smith. Stop, and we're going to pick up the first down. And my man is going to go full retard and call a timeout after I already chewed the clock. And call a timeout, and I'm like, he's probably going to go ahead and go and get out of here. And he does not, and Emmett Smith's going to get pop. It's been a long day. Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again And he's unfortunately going to give up the scoop and score to Brian Dawkins But you know what? That's fine. Cue the epic music. We're going to drive our way down the field. We're going to hit Jeremy Macklin on the left side of the field. He's going to go uh, uh, not out of bounds. We're going to no huddle. Hit uh, Julio Jones on the same exact spot of the field. Bring up a second and short. Second and two. We're giving the ball to Emmett Smith. He's going to pick up the first down. Oh, man. He's going to break off one tackle. Fight forward. Get down to the 41 yard line. We're cross midfield. And I went and graduated from the Andy Reid School of Clock Management because I forgot to turn off Chew Clock. So now we only have 23 seconds to get this game winning score. We're dropping back with Johnny Menzel. We see our open receiver. And J Mac is not going to be able to hold on to it in heat. 18 seconds left. Second and 10. I'm going to hit VD over the middle of the field. He's going to fall backwards, and it's going to be second and inches. Third and inches. I'm handing the ball with Emmett Smith, picking up the first down, and I got nine seconds to get into this end zone. So I'm thinking we got we got a chance to go ahead and try out our Mike Evans. Throwing it up one on two, and Mike Evans is going to come down with a catch against two players. We're going for two points. We're going for the win. We're going for the W, and we're going to get it. We are straight savages out here. He's got four seconds to get in field goal range, and he's not going to get it right there. One second left to get in field goal range, which is impossible. Then he's going to end up getting sacked anyways before he can find the end zone or an open receiver. And just like that, we're going to end up winning this game. Shout out to my opponent. I believe his name is the White Shadows. Great, great game. One of the best games I've played this year. 
If you guys are interested in my offensive playbook that I ran in this game, definitely go to the description and it's got it in there. It's, man, Mike Evans definitely, definitely, definitely came clutch for us. So if you guys like the video, definitely give it a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below. And as always, guys, 